I bet you'd be surprised to learn how much gold is around you right now. If your phone's anywhere near you, there's definitely some in there. A laptop, a computer, your TV, some wires and cables on the ends, so many different microchips are connected with gold or contain gold fibers. Of course, you need to know what you're looking for, do a little research and reading on it. But it can definitely add up. Over the years, you might have all sorts of electronics you think are ready to chuck to the curb. Nobody wants to pay you for them. No place takes a trade in. Maybe explore how much gold you can pull out of some of those old electronics. And over time, it can add up. Here you can see plenty of examples of where gold wiring or gold connectors are being used. And look at that. A painstaking and a slow task. Plucking away all those gold fibers. You don't want any of that plastic unless you want to go through a whole other process of dropping it all in acid and burning away the plastics, reading another solution to reduce that down to just bare metals. Instead, all those little fibers, chip ends, and connections carefully gathered, and in the end, will be rolled into little bales and burned or heated in a crucible into one nice little gold nugget. Look at how that rolls up and catches everything around it. Like a ball of hair except gold. In it goes. Dropped into the crucible. Quite a bit of it in the end but it'll reduce and shrink down into one solid piece. Induction heating is used and works pretty quickly, especially if you've got the right equipment. You can see that smoke coming out. It's heating up real quick and just like that. What emerges? looks like a gold coin and because that is gold you can say that's worth its weight in gold